Lately on this channel, I've put a bit of an emphasis on kind of heavy electronic music and modern EDM, so today let's chill it out a bit and focus on making some chill beats on the Novation circuit specifically, but also just ideas and techniques in general that I think are really useful for making chill electronic music. So first of all, I'm going to play this short snippet of a song for you. This is just a jam that I've kind of been working on that I've wanted to showcase, and I think is a really good case study for a lot of the techniques that I typically use when making chill music on the Novation circuit or otherwise. So let's jump into a bunch of the techniques that I've used to make this beat and chill beats in general and how they exemplify my approach to chill electronic music in general. So let's start off with the drums. Mute all this stuff. Typically I find for chill beats, the optimal drums are either very short and kind of high pitched or very long and kind of like low and time stretched with very little in between. Obviously in between can absolutely work, but using very short and high or very low and long drums is kind of a shortcut to getting good chill drum tones, especially because you can get those sounds no matter what drums you've got loaded onto the circuit because you can always time stretch them to be long and vaporwave style or short and kind of lo-fi. So in this case, I've got very short drums and also these little kind of sound effects adding kind of to the groove. They're kind of serving as ear candy and kind of reinforcing the almost video game nature of this beat, especially with that little pew pew sound. So I've got both of these sounds turn to be pretty friggin' short and pitched up a bit. And then if I want, I can start to bring in some of that slapback delay and a little bit of reverb. And I'm gonna get back to the slapback delay in a second. But to finish off the drums, let's talk about the kind of vaporwave drums. So I've got this snare sample pitched down a good bit. Let the tail ring out as long as possible and I've got a good sized reverb on it. So it rings out and I have it doing a less complicated pattern. That way it doesn't get in the way of everything. It just has a punchy but kind of laid back groove. And then I didn't change the hi-hats. But let's go back to this first session here and then talk about this lead because in my opinion, a kind of ARP-like lead is much better than a pad when it comes to making chill music on the circuit. Obviously there are whole genres of ambient that rely much more on pads and I definitely don't want to dismiss that, but for my own ends, for kind of more rhythmic chill music, especially on the circuit, I think an ARP-like lead can sound a lot cleaner and still really fill out a mix. So. Here's some ways that I actually accomplished that. So let's turn down this delay because I'll get back to that. So here's my lead. So it's got a bit of an attack to it, but also it rings out a lot. And those two things combined can really already start to fill out a lot of space. So it functions both as an ARP and as a pad almost simultaneously. Can get some stereo width, which I brought into kind of the second half of the jam. And then I can go in with the slapback delay.
pretty much any time I'm trying to make a chill Novation Circuit Jam, I go for this slapback delay specifically. I absolutely love the tone it gives to my synths, and it's a cool rhythmic vibe without being too chaotic. And it helps fill up the stereo spectrum as well. So it makes the synth even more full, just on its own. And also for those of you who are curious, this is the scale that I'm using. So it's kind of this major, but slightly melancholy vibe. And also another thing to note, I'm actually using the Big City Great Decay and a Force Truly Evil pack, which is mostly meant for kind of dirty, heavy electronic music. But because I'm using these techniques, I can still make something super chill using that pack. And also it's got some decent sounds for chill stuff as well. So in the case of the Novation Circuit specifically, I tend to go for more kind of squarified or super saw in nature uh, patches. Those seem to be really good for kind of bringing out the best in the circuit. I almost associate the circuit with tones like that. So packs like the Bow Beats Coffee and Beats Volume 2 pack or the Red Meats Recording packs are great for that kind of chill, square wave centric type music. And those are the packs that I would recommend, especially for chill music, or you can go into kind of the retro 80s and 90s vibe with your synthwave and vaporwave packs. In this case, I kind of took a hybrid approach, but once again, this definitely puts an emphasis on kind of plinkier, but sustained sounds. And then to build on that, I bring in the bass. That's really all that's missing to fill out this whole arrangement. Just two elements, and this isn't even pulling any kind of double duty. I don't have like chords up here and a lead up here. I didn't even have to bother with that because the sustained arp and this bass line are all I need. This leads me to the next technique that I really love to use for chill music is these little octave jumps and almost a funky bass line. Like you'll notice this bass has a bit of attack to it. So when sustained, it's this kind of nice deep tone, but it's got that attack to it. So when you do these little octave jumps, it sticks out in the mix quite a bit. The mix of these kind of ethereal sustained elements and a groovy bass line really works for me. And while I could have just let this bass be long and sustained for the entire jam, I think adding these little octave jumps and these little licks adds a lot to the beat. Same applies on this kind of bigger section. And you'll notice the bass got a whole lot deeper in the second session. I think often combining some heavier sounds with some lighter sounds can be counterintuitively more chill. For instance, this bass is super deep and it's got a bit of bite to it, but because it's contrasted with this arp element, they end up really complementing each other. And because that bass is hitting at a really nice frequency, it's very satisfying to listen to. So it's playing the same part, but an octave lower. And then real quick, just so you can hear it by itself, here's the soloed kind of super saw element. I got a good amount of reverb on some of these elements. I use delay more than I use reverb in these chill jams, but both are pretty instrumental in making a jam like this happen. Anyway, that is it for today. Hopefully you found this video inspiring and hopefully you found it helpful. If you'd like to hear a chill jam I made with the Novation Circuit, you can click or tap up over here somewhere. And if you'd like to learn what a bunch of the best packs are for the Novation Circuit, including sound demos for them, you can click or tap down over here somewhere. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with a new video in a little bit.